we are going to be mixing up for my fruit flies. I've got, I ordered a bunch of fruit flies and then I got the stuff to make my own. And to do this, we need three quarters cup of boiling water. So we've got a, so you'll need a measuring cup. And we're gonna go over and get three quarters of a cup of water. Three quarters of a cup of water. And then we want it to boil, so we're gonna throw it in the microwave. Three minutes should get it boiling. Might as well open up the bag. This we're going to need this stuff. We need a half a cup of the medium. We'll need empty cups. They sell them 10 of them. cup two times I'm not going to do you know I'm going to do a cup and a half and try to divide that way this way you get the complete measurement per you get just here to say hi as we're getting this stuff together <laughs> Three minutes is definitely long enough. It was it was rolling pretty good in there. So watch out, kitty. Come on, get down. Okay. You wanna add the boiling water. mixed in. Let's see what this next thing it says. This is add a handful of water with a half cup of medium. Add a handful of extract. Okay, and cover. Let it wait for it to cool. And then add 50 to 100 flies. So I want to make sure all the medium is mixed in. And I will be right back. I gotta get the other bag. And then with the kit, it adds the, it's like the stuff that the fruit flies can hang out on. And then, oh. and if you want to grab, just like, grab a handful of it or so. Stuck together pretty good. Just don't 
to take too much of it, just enough for the flies to hang out on. I don't want that. Yeah, just, I think probably just a handful like this would probably be good. Let's scrape that. Yeah. Shove that down in there. And like I said, don't add the fruit flies right away. Give the give it a, a chance to cool down first. Um, let's see if it says what else it says here. Um, cool. Culture should be kept at 85 degrees. Uh, let's start producing within 12 to 14 days. Culture seems to be drying out. Um, spray it with water. Okay. Well, this, uh, I think I didn't, you want to make sure you mix it in. It didn't quite get mixed enough on one side. Mix all that powder in there. So it's not dried out. Okay, and push that stuff back down in there. Stuff off of it. That'll give the fruit flies somewhere to, to hang out and lay their eggs. And then you just repeat the same process for the second one. And once I've got this one done, I will be back with you and we'll get the other one set up. And then later on, once they cool down, I'll show you adding the, the fruit flies. Okay, we got the second one done. You can see we got substrate at the bottom. And then the stuff, stuff in there for the fruit flies to hang out in and lay their eggs. Now what you want to do is take your fruit flies and you want to make sure they're down because there's going to be a bunch at the top once you when you start getting ready to open it they're going to want to try to get out so I'm going to take and open it up and just shake a bunch in there up just between 50 to 100 of them because this one's already got pupa in it so that's why I want to get this going so we have a, a different stages. Take the other one. Yeah, see once you if you can see up in the rim there they're like they're pouring in there because they knocked in. So we want to make sure they are down before you open it to start putting them into the next one. This way we'll have different stages of development. And any ones that fall out onto the table, we'll get our um, thing for sucking up the ants and we'll suck them up. Feed them to the ants right away. Get them all closed up. And then I will show you the other the thing we use to suck them up with. Anybody that's anybody that's watched my videos, you know exactly what this is. Use this to suck the ones up that got out of the container as you're shaking them in. I found that getting the squeeze ball is really nice because then you don't have to use your mouth. Take the chance of sucking them up into your <laughs> Nice thing is, is these are front flightless fruit flies, so they are not going to be flying all over the place. And then they'll be in this little container here, and we can go feed these to the ants, which I will take you along for that too, I might as well. So now instead of just one, we've got three set up. One that's got pupa in it, two that are 
just got fruit flies, which they'll start laying eggs, and then we will have two new generations. And then once these reach the point where this one's at right now, then we will make two more so that we have like a consistent production of fruit flies at different ages. So this one will start being the feeder and these two will be producers and then so on and so on. So that we do not run out of fruit flies. So, well, thank you so much for watching this part. We're gonna go give these to the, to the ants. I'll record a little bit of that for the end of the video. Uh, if you've liked the video, please remember to hit that like button. Comment anything down below that you, any questions or anything you might have. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do that right now. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, well, this is our harvester ants. These are the ones they still have on the on the heat. Um, this will be the colony that I'm moving to the new setup that I've got in the box that I will be doing an unboxing video for in the coming days, which uh, might be a little longer than I was anticipating because the the shipment doesn't look like it's going to get here until like between the 8th and the 11th of November. So not the ant farm part of it. That's already here. The I'm talking the I've got lighting and a green screen and a new tripod uh, to make it easier to hold the camera and stuff. So it's a, mostly for my webcam for when I'm gaming because it's one of those three three arm jobbies that you can bend and clip to a table and stuff like that. Okay, now let's see if we can get some of these. I haven't given these guys any for quite a while. We have had fruit flies, flying fruit, fruit flies in the house recently. Uh, I think it was because I had with my mealworms, I had a peach that the mealworms were eating. And the fruit flies came along with the peach. So we uh, have some fruit flies. I did set up fruit fly traps, which uh, is working on getting rid of the fruit flies. But I did manage to catch some to feed to the ants, too. Um, let's see. I'm going to get this. I'm trying to take the cover off one of these with one hand is a little difficult. <laughs> As long as you get the corner that the edge that's up against the nest, it gets a little bit easier. Make sure the fruit flies are at the bottom while you take the top off. Got it. If we get them all out, there's still two in there. Yep, that's all. I want to get the. Yeah, see, they, they can find their way out of there pretty quickly. And we'll come back and get the cover on there nice and tight so that ants don't get out. So, But these are the... I keep my fruit flies. I have them right here. It's the old, the older one with the pupa. This is the new one of the new ones and the other new one is down below there. So we will see how things go. They're on a fruit fly hunt now. So. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlist and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.